figured out how to make the, the Robbie the Robot walk. I couldn't figure out how it works. I knew it did. I believe it said it on the box. Uh, I can't remember, but the wheels on the front gave me the impression it did that. So let me open the door up here and switch this thing on. Or no, let me actually not do that. I was going to record out there, but then someone was in the, the, in the area and I don't want to film with people there. I even know it's just my brother, but you know, I don't want to film it. So here's the giant. I showed you the giant in uh, another video, but I'm just going to show you again. Here's the switch on the back. You push it right here on the front. Ta-da! I'm gonna get out of here because I don't like filming you now. But how freaking cool is that? You get to see Robbie walk around and move his feet. Um, the only thing I don't like about this is you see how the feet are not kind of straight together. It's because when you walk, uh, when they walk, you have to turn them off at a certain time when their feet are completely right, lined up. They still display nice on the shelf, but it's just harder to get their feet lined up and stuff like that. Um, so just know that it's going to be hard to do that if you ever want to make them walk again and display them perfectly on the shelf. I keep the Robbie here. I keep the giant here next to this little BB-8 bank, which I do not use as a bank. I have a few banks in here that I do not use as banks, including this one, this giant Coke bottle. But I don't care. I'm going to put it right here. But yeah, look at that giant. The only thing I don't like about that giant is, again, since the green eyes light up when he talks, his eyes aren't green, so he just looks like he's dead on the shelf, which is a little unnerving to me, I guess. But Robbie looks freaking awesome. That one's pretty good, too, but I just wish the eyes were just uh, a lighter green, and then when you turned him on, it, it glued bright green or something, you know? It'd look a lot better, um, but... As it stands, I love these figures. Um, let's, I got a tape measure here. Uh, if I can find where I put it. Let me, uh, ah, 12 foot. Let's measure these guys here. Let's measure them. Okay, so I'm going to set you here. And, you're, and I'm going to pull this. This is a 12 foot measurement. Okay. It is about 12 to 13 inches tall. Not bad for the giant. Um, okay, so here we go. I'm going to measure uh, Robbie here. So we're going to get that Robbie here. Robbie is about almost 15 inches tall. Yeah, about 15 inches. Which is interesting that these were so cheap because they were 20 bucks. Considering at Walmart, you buy a Marvel Legend for 20 bucks. Marvel Legends are 6 inches. And all they can do is what, what these do here. They sit on a shelf and look cool. These walk. They light up. They talk. Um, they have beautiful packaging. Of course, I threw away the packaging because I do not care about packaging. Um, unless it's a movie but just look at those beautiful and um they're both from movies that are kind of obscure the iron giant less so yeah but it's definitely more of a cult movie because it did bomb 
when it came out for good reason. I went over that in my review on my main channel, Kabam Studios. Um, so check that out. But I love those figures a lot. And I hope this is a sign that Walmart will get more stuff like this in. Because I would love to collect them. Because I think they're just freaking cool. And well designed and put together. Problem is I don't know how well like how well these things are selling. And how many of these are being made. Um, there was only two at my Walmart. For each one. Um, and I bought one of the two, so, uh, at least for the giant, I think there's about four of Robbie, but my guess with the giant is four of the, two of, the, there was four and two of them sold because he's more popular with Robbie. He's from a movie from the 1950s, um, so I don't know how well that one would have sold compared to the giant, um, there could have been a chance that I should have waited and it would have been marked down later. But if that happens, oh well, I got the figure and I'm happy with it. And I am I think $20 was more than fair for that figure. Um, but yeah, that's the dealio. So let me know what robots you'd want to see. Keep them Warner Brothers because the these are uh, Warner Brothers movies. Um... I'm trying to think of one I'd like to see, but I can't really think of any. I am thinking of the Black Hole um, movies, like from the Black Hole, like, you know, uh, Black, Disney's Black Hole. I want to see, like, those robots, uh, maybe Lost in Space and stuff like that, but, like, I can't think of anything by Warner Brothers. Let me know if you guys have, like, any you can think of. I know they have, like, a lot of uh, robots and stuff in their library. I'm trying to think of stuff. Ultraman robots would be cool because Ultraman's freaking awesome. I want to see that too. I don't know. I, I want to see more stuff like this.